today um this video is going to be a little bit different um on my channel i normally don't do this but i'm going to give it a try um so this is my first time making these custom ashtrays um you can get whatever design you like so today i just want to show you guys um how to do the epoxy step i already coated and did my um, ashtrays already i have did multiple i already sold two i will include clips that i sold i sold the winnie the pooh and the backward barbie already and i have um these two i'm going to epoxy and i'm also going to show you guys give me a that i already did so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys real quick the ashtrays that i already did and the ashtrays that i have to make to get sent out to the people um so the first one is a i'm sorry it's just this little fly right now the first one is a um harley and joker she wanted a customized one like this um so i decided to leave it a little bit of silver right here but she wanted like a green and black so i did it like that and it does have a little bit of epoxy that you see right there but it's going to be you'll see the difference so that one that's the one i'm going to be doing and um i also did this one she wanted a breast cancer and of course pink so i did this one as well so i'm going to be doing that one and i want to show you the guys i want to show you some that i already did and that's already have epoxy coated on it so this one is just like a um different bag tray he wanted something different and i did like a green and blue so this one just has like different bags on there so as you can see this one is coated with epoxy that's when you get that hardening feel and you can see like you see like the hardening feel right there so yeah so that one um, I also did this one and these are not epoxy either because I just didn't get to it yet um, But I did this uh, I want girl hands with the joints and I did it in this green color lime green color And also every tray comes with a custom lighter or whatever you want on it And I will show you my custom um, different design lighters are sitting up here But this one is the lime green one as well that comes with it and all of these ashtrays are 25. Um, it doesn't even matter what size. So I did this one too. I really didn't like this one, but this is like the Rolling Stone with the blue and silver background. But a lot of people do like that with the matching lighter. And then of course, one of my favorites is the Ninja Turtle with the joint. And I have it with the green and silver. And of course, I have like a silver lighter. Um, this one, I will show you my lighter today. This one is just mine. I wanted to try it out for the first time, like, ever. And this is the first time trying this out. And I did epoxy it because I wanted to see the bubbles effects and see what do I have to do, what do I have to work on. And I noticed a lot with this one. But this is the ones with just all me. And I just did a pink and purple. My favorite color is green. But I'm just like, with these pictures, pink and purple will go very, very pretty. As you can see the difference, this one is kind of bigger. Um, I wanted to give this one a try. And I want to use my pictures that I already had on hand. So I decided to go with that. So that's that. And this is the lighter that I love and I always use to go with this set. It's really, really cute. So, yeah. And I do have um, another one of me. And I do have another one. But I believe they are getting epoxy and they start drying. I want to go ahead and show you my lighters real quick. My custom lighters. Um, this one is a SpongeBob one with the little highness, whatever. That one. And then this one is the Eagles lighter for all you Eagle fans out there. <laughs> this one is the Eagles lighter. So yeah, I did that one. So these are all customized. And this one goes with um, her tray, which is just his face on there. I did it like a 3D effect. So when you turn around, you can still see it. So I did that one. And I also sold my cartoon network lighter too as well. everything so before you want to go ahead and epoxy you want to have a bag or you want to do it on the table anything down 
um i'm gonna be starting off with this one i'm gonna put this one to the side you want to make sure you have room and space and all that um like i said you will be needing some gloves and fit to your liking because i tried i tried large for the first time with doing the epoxy and it's a mess it's too because my gloves were too big and it was falling off epoxy was everywhere it was just a mess so i decided to go with medium and it fit perfectly um of course you're going to need a mask you want to want to protect your face because this stuff it don't smell strong but once you put it on it starts to become very very strong and it's a lot of chemicals in there especially you do not want to touch it trust me i touched it a little bit on my finger and i was like oh my gosh i immediately washed my hands so that's why you want to have gloves and i got latex if you're allergic just get some other gloves so you want to make sure you have gloves and um a mask for protection um so epoxy is right here i kept the box i got this box off of amazon for 17 bucks and it does come with two parts as you can see it is very very messy right now but i only have a little bit left to probably do two or three ashtrays i'm just get these two out the way so do come with two parts it comes with part a and part b i'm gonna be needing that i'm gonna go ahead and put my gloves on now sleeves back and just have my gloves over there so when you do part a and part b it is a mix you have to mix it very very slow you have to mix very very long it is a process so you want to make sure you have like I got these from the Dollar Tree. You wanna make sure you just have like two good measuring cups. Um, when you first get the epoxy, it does come with measuring cups. I believe you get four, but of course you will use all of them. So I bought a whole bunch of these. I love these because you can see right through. You can go like this and make sure that they are on point. You do not wanna make sure one is overfill and one is low, because that's gonna mess it up. You wanna make sure that they are exactly on point. The process of the mixing does take about 30 minutes because you want to mix slowly. You do not want to have no air bubbles or nothing in your epoxy because that will make a like, crack or it will make bubble effects. But if, if you have air bubbles, you can use like a blow dryer or um, a heat thingy. Um, and you can see in here, the lighter. I always taped it because you do not want to get epoxy or um, a Mod Posh is what I use to like the coating and all that. You do not want to get that on the top of the lighter because you won't be able to use it. So I just wrap it in this tape right here. Um, so this is everything that I use. Everything that I mainly got is from the Dollar Tree. Ashtrays, lighters, tape, sponges, um, chopsticks, tacky glue. Um, you can find these little glitter packets and this little thing to keep them in. These I got from Walmart. Maj Posh I got from Walmart. Um, like I said, epoxy off of Amazon. You can get it at Marshalls too, I believe. And these Dollar Tree and the bags I got from the Dollar Tree because it's charge bags. So let's get into this video because it's nine minutes long. So I'm going to go ahead and put my max on because we are about to start the process so it, um, it doesn't matter what part you start with just make sure you know what part you start with and which one you put it in you do not want to mix them up okay so i'm gonna go ahead and start with part a part a is the thickest part b is like the more thinnest part a is like really really thick like you guys will see really thick i do not put a lot if you put a lot it will make it really really bumpy you just want to eyeball it I think that's about it. So you just want to make sure you eyeball it, okay? And once you get that nap, put that to the side. You do not want nothing us on here. You just want your ashtray and you, your hands, okay? And hey, let me see. Is that going to be enough? Yes. So that is enough. Like, that is, like, enough, though. So I want to make sure that it measure out to the same. So I'm going to put this down here. And B comes out really fast. All right, let's make sure that those two look about the same. Line them up really, really good. Uh, those are perfect. About the same. Those are about the same. So. You could pour A and B, B and A, it doesn't really matter. I always like to pour B and A because um, A is really, really thick and it's hard to come out. That's what the chopsticks come in. That's what I needed. The chopsticks is you can scoop it out, place it, you want to get everything out of there so it can be even as possible. 
so I, I noticed what is part A and what is part B. As you can see, this is part A. It's very, very thick. I feel like that takes longer. I like to pour part B and part A. It doesn't really matter. But that's just my preference, just to get it done quicker. Because the epoxy does take 24 hours to dry. So you do have to wait. Um, you do have to wait for 24 hours to do it. So this is the way I like to do it. But you can do it the way you like to do it. It doesn't really matter. So like I said, the stirring takes about 30 minutes. It takes like literally forever. So I might just speed this video up just because it takes forever. So yeah. I'll come back once I'm ready to put the epoxy on the tray and I'll show you guys. Okay, so once you have your epoxy down, I'm gonna go ahead and just pour it all over. So I'm going to show you guys what I do and then just keep watching. So now I'm just going to move the epoxy like so. You just want to make sure you get it everywhere. You see it dropping like all over here. That's when I take the sponge and I just like Just to make sure that it's secure. Sometimes people, they like to use their fingers so you can just like fill it and then glide it along. enough I just go ahead and place it on my next one that I'm about to do just so that I'm not really wasting any epoxy all right so this looks good see and it has to dry for 24 hours as you can see it's like very very shiny it's still you see that it's gonna pop out nice so I'm just going to sit that right there and I will be back and we will start the cancer one. So I'm just going to do the same step that I did with the first one.
weeks I will come back and then I will show you guys the porn and all that stuff. Okay, so now I got it all mixed. It took me a while. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it on like so. And make sure you scoop it out. That's what epoxy is, it's like a very clear, shiny for a coating. So now we're going to do the lighter for the breast cancer thing. You don't need no gloves, you don't need no mask, you don't need none of that. I'm just going to be doing, a, it's going to be really quick. So choose a lighter you like, any type of lighter. I got this lighter from Dollar Tree. Um, you're gonna need some Maj Posh. I got this from Walmart. This one was seven and this one's like four dollars, but I had ran out, so got the 16 ounce. Um, what I like to do is your preference. I like to just duct tape this around because I don't want to get like Maj Posh, I don't want to get glitter on it, so I protect this part because you don't want to mess up your lighter. So that's what I do first before I get started. Um, I measure it make sure you go around like the black around the black line because you just i just want to get like the purple and down i don't want to get all that extra in, so and then you just want to make sure it's even all the way around I don't use the big sponges because you have a small lighter, so I prefer using something like this, something really, really small. And it's very, very easy, very simple. What I like to do is I like to match it up with the same color as the ashtray. So the color that we used for the ashtray was this purple right here as the cancer ashtray. So it's like this color right here. So I'm gonna be using this type of glitter to match that. 
and what I'm about to do now is I'm about to just coat the lighter in Mod Podge. So I'm going to put it on the paintbrush. And then I'm just going to thin layer. You don't want to make it very thick because it'll be bulky. So very, very thin layer. And just go ahead and paint the lighter. Basically, that's what you're doing. And make sure you get the sides and make sure it's even and if you feel like it's too too thin wait about like five minutes to like dry and then go ahead do another layer of mosh posh and then do the same thing and then for the bottom i just like slide the glitter on it i don't really press hard on it it's gonna make it bulky at the bottom just like slide it just to get the glitter so this was actually fine, this one coat. I only use one coat, if I have to use two, I really don't use two, but this one I might have to, cause you can still see the sticker, but like that. And you just wanna wait about five minutes. It don't really take that long to dry. Once you put the Mod Posh on there, you can go ahead and do the glitter again. And then what I like to use is, I'm gonna show you. So it can dry overnight standing up because you don't want your lighter sitting face down because I tried that, <laughs> stupid. And the lighter got stuck to the paper. But I'm gonna go ahead and put the Mod Podge on because like I said, it don't really take that long, literally. It's a lighter. And I'm not gonna use a lot. Cause I'm just only gonna do it on the thin part. I'm gonna just coat the whole lighter again, but it's not gonna be very, you guys will see, I'm gonna show you. like this like a little white but you can still see the glitter all right so then i'm just gonna do the same thing all right bam so that's how it's supposed to look it's easy simple and what i like to do is i like to just set everything here overnight i leave the fan on because it takes quicker i just like notice that when the fan is on it dries quicker sometimes it can still be a little bit of wet but that's just like around the edges it still would dry so with the lighter it's just a trick so if you don't have nothing to set it on i just thought about like flipping these over I already should have it clamped before. You want to make sure you have this clamped before because, yeah, you do not want to touch the bottom of that. So now I gotta like dip, dip this again, touch the bottom. Bottom. Alright. So once that is clamped on like that, uh, take it pull it apart like this and you just set it on top of there make sure you get the balance it will dry overnight standing up just like that boom bam all right so so i will come back tomorrow morning and then i will show you guys the final results of the ashtray and the lighter and also 
if you want a customized ashtray or lighter let me know comment down below i will have all my information in the description box down below as well and yeah thank you guys for watching my channel don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like this channel and also give this video a thumbs up bye